Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video we are going to be making a simple but cool lanthanide complex um, neodymium acetyl acetonate. You have no many idea how many takes it took to get that one right. <laughs> this is a word I have read much but have never really had to say that often. <laughs> um, anyway, um, one of my subscribers contacted me um, via email and he asked me if I would do this synthesis that he found online. Um, he, if he sent me the chemicals to do it. I already had the neodymium, but I had it as neodymium 3 iodide hexahydrate, which was slowly decaying and decomposing sitting on the shelf. Um, it started out as this cool orange, um, but it had turned black. So I dropped all the iodine out of it with um, hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide, filtered that off and recovered all of that. Then I um, dropped out the neodymium as the hydroxide, filtered that off, rinsed it, reacted it with, reacted it with nitric acid, and then evaporated it down, um, reconstituting, evaporating down, reconstituting, evaporating down, trying to remove all of its, or as much of the nitric acid as I possibly could. Um, of course, can't use hydrochloric acid, which would be my normal trick for removing nitric acid, um, but don't really want to contaminate my nitrate with chloride. I don't know that it would do it haven't you know any implications for the synthesis we're about to do but I don't know it specifically calls for the nitrate um, I went ahead and I did a dry run kind of sort of um, while I was processing the neodymium and I did it with holmium nitrate because I already had the hexahydrate of that one on hand and because it changes color under UV lights uh, it goes from a peach looking color to a Pepto-Bismol type pink. Um, so it was easy enough to see and just track it visually. Um, the final product probably does have some sodium acetate contaminating it since, um, as I discovered, uh, holmium acetyl acetonate is pretty soluble in water. Um, but anyway, I mean, you see a picture of it, you know what it looks like. Um, so anyway, like I said, I was able to try it with that and um, so now I've got the neodymium nitrate, you know, subscribers specifically requested this one. And since he sent me a hundred mil bottle of, um, two, four pentane dione, dude, you fucking rock man. Um, I will happily make your neodymium <laughs> complex for you, sir, coming right up. <laughs> so, all right. So what I've got here is about three and a half grams of neodymium nitrate hexahydrate dissolved in about 22 milliliters of um, 90 percent ethanol. The protocol called for 95 percent, but I had to add a little bit more water to get the neodymium nitrate to dissolve. Now, I'm not really sure why that was. <laughs> Um, I, I recovered this neodymium nitrate yesterday, so I don't know. Um, it is possible, maybe, that there was still some residual nitric acid in it. Maybe. I don't know. We're going to go ahead and go with things, though, and, and see how it turns out. So, um, the protocol calls for us to add 3 milliliters of 2,4-pentanedione, to this and then to bring it to a gentle reflux for 30 minutes so all right we'll try this angle and see how this works um all right Okay. 
Okay, we've got that. Go ahead and add that into here. Oh, look at that, it's turning colors. How very cool. Wow, that has a powerful smell. Okay, let's get that closed up. And that closed up. Go ahead and let's see, loosen that. I'm going to bring that down here. And down there. And I just have a Vigru column on here because I had to put something on this to reflux, but I don't think it's going to require any kind of, you know, liquid cooling in order to keep this from getting out of control. So we're just going to leave this to reflux now and I will wrap this up in foil and I'll come back in 30 minutes. Alright everyone, our mixture has been at a gentle reflux for 30 minutes. No visible change. Now we are supposed to combine it with a solution of sodium acetate trihydrate, which I've got right here. And then we are supposed to heat it to 70 C for about 20 minutes. Um, I really doubt I'm going to be able to get that thing up to 70 C in that round bottom flask. So what I am going to do instead is I am going to add this to the sodium acetate solution in the beaker. And then I will just keep a close eye on the temperature of this thing as it stirs and do my very best to keep it around 70 degrees C. Um, wish me luck. Hey, Lucky. All right. Man, this stuff has a smell to it, boy. It's not bad. It's not great. It's kind of weirdly fruity. All right. Here we go. Heat this up to 70C and do that for 20 minutes and I will come back once that is done. Alright everyone, it has been 20 minutes and we are starting to get solid in this. Um, so it has gotten cloudy on us. Um, I am going to go ahead and take this off the heat now and I'm going to let it cool and crystallize and that should give us our product. So I will come back when there is something to see. All right, everyone, here is our product. You can see we got some crystals up here. Didn't really get any crystals on the sides. But what I am going to do now is um, filter this, and we will see what it looks like. There we go. It is a very light purple. I hope it's showing up right. I'm just going to let it keep vacuum filtering here for a little bit and then I'll pull it off of here and we'll take a look at it and wrap this up. All right, everyone, there is our final product Neodymium Acetyl Acetonate. 
So, that was fun. That was very cool. Um, when I was reading, I came across a thorium acetyl acetonate. You know we're going to have to try that one next. But it's going to have to wait for a day when it's not rainy outside. Um, because the, the smell of this stuff is really, really not good. I just, I don't like it. Um, I mean, it comes with a little warning on the side of the bottle, of course. I didn't really tell you much. But, um, you know, after having experienced it, yeah, yeah. It's one of those ones I think I'm going to reserve for exclusively using when I can be out here to do it. <laughs> So, anyway, but, I mean, it was still a fun little synthesis to do, and, um, who knows, we might be able to make some other very cool, um, acetyl-acetonate complexes in the future. I try not to mess with this too, stuff too much because, you know, there are a lot of other channels that do these kinds of things, and I, I, just, I try not to step on other people's toes. Um, you know, I try to do my own thing. But, anyway, like I said, this was a special request, so... Um, if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe, comment, share the video, and until the next one, y'all, I will see you later.